Okay, uh, this should be the third and uh, final video on my Windows ME machine. It is just about complete. I came up a little short on some parts and I just received a package in the mail today. A good friend of mine had a whole bunch of uh, old retro parts he was stowing, storing away and uh, I purchased some from him. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need uh, any RAM for a while. Uh, I couldn't believe he had this much RAM. That's that's nice. It'll help me out for if I ever do get another itch to build more com retro computers. And I got a couple of halfway decent uh, video cards. I'm thinking this is going to be the one we want to put in there. This should be... It's a... Uh, come on, focus here. It's an MX4000 64 megabytes. Uh, that's a pretty good video card for the for the the era that I'm looking to do. I might put this one in my Windows 98 uh, computer. I don't know, but either way, at least I got a couple more a couple more video cards I can work with. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna put some more RAM in that uh, baby. Um, I can't decide. Um, they do make Windows ME is is like uh, Windows ninety eight um, anything past five hundred and twelve megabytes uh, it runs into problems. They do have like patches and mods you can do to it where you can go past that limit, but because that motherboard you can go up to one point five gigabytes. I thought about it taking these three. 512 sticks and slapping in there and maxing it out, but then I thought Do I really gain anything from doing that? So I'm thinking for now. I think I'm just gonna go to 512 and leave it at that instead of trying to really hop it up and make it unstable messing with patches and You know trying to so I think I think I'm just gonna put 512 in there Maybe put this video card in and uh, go from there. Yeah, I already had, uh, ooh, careful, <laughs> I already had uh, two of these sticks in here. These are uh, crucial, 128 megabytes, uh, 133 megahertz, so 128 times 2 gives me a total of 256, which is halfway to my goal, so what I'm thinking, I'll leave them two in there, and I'll just add this 256 stick at the same speed. It's uh, even the same name, Brad. It's crucial. So that'll give me my total of 512. Plus it'll fill all the RAM slots so it'll make it look like it's maxed out. <laughs> so that should uh, that should work just fine and dandy. So that should max my RAM out. There. Next, uh, let's get the video card in there. No, no, Adam. One thing at a time. Let's check and make sure uh, this RAM stick I got is going to behave itself first. So let's see if... Make sure that's going to be okay first. One thing at a time. And you thought it took long before to check RAM. Now it's really going to take a long time. <laughs> and then, could you imagine if I put one and a half gigs in there? Man, we'd be sitting here all day waiting for this thing to boot. <laughs> I think there is a setting in the BIOS to to tell it not to check the RAM every time you boot up. I'm definitely going to let it run this time to make darn sure. But, uh, yeah, let's so far, so good. We passed the 256 mark. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Almost there.
Yay! And there we go. 512 megabytes of RAM. Alrighty, video card is next. Another nice thing about this is uh, I don't even think, I'm hoping to get lucky here, I don't think, oops, let me try to disconnect this. I don't think I'll have to reinstall drivers either because I think these are both Navita from the same family. Oh, why is that coming out so hard? I hate that. Oh, that screw is stuck. Just got to loosen screws a little bit here. I'm going to take that other plate out to get that out of there. I don't know why it's wedged in there so tight. Sometimes the plates will... There we go. Oh, I bet it'll come out. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, they're both, uh, they're both GeForce cards. So I'm thinking they'll... Uh, yeah, they're even both MX4000. Oh, no. Yeah, they're both MX4000s. So I'm thinking I won't even have to reinstall drivers. So that's going to be nice. Let's see, I think I'm going to want, yep, the top slot. Do a little swipping and swapping here. Fill my holes back in. Okay. Should be a pretty good card, I think. Okay. All right, let's get this hooked back up. And I'll see what it does. Yeah, they're both they're both GeForce MX 4000s. The only difference is that one was a PCI and this was an AGP. And I'm thinking the AGP. Oops, what did I forget to do. Oh, forgot to turn the main power on. That's a good sign. All right, we got to do something about this. It shouldn't have to check this stupid RAM. Oh, I guess you just hit any key. Okay. <laughs> well, we don't need to go into the BIOS. Right, I'm going to take a pause here. I'm going to see if I can set this dang thing so it quits checking memory every time I boot it up. It's getting annoying. Well, there. I uh, the only option I could see there was a quick boot option. We'll see if that. There. I think that took care of it. Hopefully. Okay. I'll make it quick a little boot a little quicker. I think that's what quick boot means. It skips the memory checking. Don't like that. Oh, 
first time it froze up. It's kind of strange. Of course, I was playing with a bunch of settings in the BIOS. Maybe I set something it doesn't like. I'll get back to you. I think the problem here is uh, I'm being a little bit impatient. I walked away from it a little for a little while, and at least uh, it's it is booting. It's just you know it's it's taking its time. You, you really gotta not be in a hurry. You just gotta let it do its thing. You know, instead of thinking it's not working, hit and reset. Just leave things alone, and it will boot eventually. So I think I think it'll figure itself out if I just walk away from it and leave it alone for a little while. Okay, that was the problem. Um, yeah, the drivers for the video card are universal, but I had to put the Windows ME install disk back in it. Needed some extra drivers for the display for some odd weird reason. So. I think that took care of the problem. Come on. Whew. Patience. A lot of patience, boy, with these old machines. There. I think I got that little problem figured out. Huh. Okay. Maybe it's not going to like this video card. Weird. Yeah, so far it's been really, really stable since I put that other video card in. Now she's acting a little bit weird. Eh, I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Typical Windows ME. Yeah, she was being a little finicky. I had to completely uninstall and reinstall the video drivers and so yeah um, when she gets unstable boy she gets unstable but when she is stable she's stable <laughs> so I can see why people anyway uh, I did get a game installed and uh, I figured this was fitting for the era Gotta do this. Gotta dance. <laughs> so yeah, it's like I say, it's 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 getting there, <laughs> little by little. I want to start playing that. If I play that, I'll never get anything done. So, yeah. And ooh, look what else I found in the closet. Hey. <laughs> yeah. This brings back lots of memories. I miss using this controller. But of course, as time went on and computers no longer put game ports on there anymore, well, I'd, away in the closet it went. But yeah, so I ain't got time to make any more videos. I got to play games now that I got all this cool stuff working again. So that's the end of uh, of uh, 
my Pentium 3 rebuild. So, goodbye.